Okay, well done guys. So that's the end of the district activities for this term. There'll be more in September. And the big one you need to be looking out for is we're going to be coming to St Fagans on the 7th of October for what's called Urban Adventure, which will be a fun day. And somebody might come flying in in his helicopter, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. <laughs> Just a massive big scout shout out to you, Randy. It's sort of one they're going to hear. So it, when I'm going to Barry in a little bit this afternoon, they're going to hear you. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, brilliant, guys. Has it been raining? Good. So I said, I've been saying, if it ain't raining, it ain't training. And then what they've changed it to in all the camps in Wales I've been to, they've changed it to, if it ain't raining, it ain't Wales. <laughs> uh, one of the great privileges of my job is that I get to drop into scout camps like this, not all over the UK, but also all over the world. And what I see is always inspiring. And I think sometimes for you guys in the middle of scouting it's difficult to always be aware of it. But you really are your part of something so special. And there are 28 million brothers and sisters in scouting around the world. And that's a huge number. I always think of that as like a worldwide force uh, for good. Uh, so I've got two messages. One is for the scouts and the other is for the leaders. For the scouts I'd say grab these opportunities. Because the opportunities scouting gives you are incredible. You know, scouts are involved in everything from kayaking to climbing to paragliding to computing to photography to cooking, you name it, it covers everything. But no one will ever force you to do anything. You've got to say, I want to do that. I want to climb that mountain. And then the scouts will help you. It's like I met a kid yesterday who was a young scout and he'd been watching the telly and he'd seen all these Syrian refugees and he said, do you know what, I'm going to swim the distance of the English Channel in my pool at school to raise money for them. You know, that's the sort of thing scouts do. They do things differently, a bit bigger and a bit better and make a difference. 
So grab those opportunities. Always be kind and helpful. Yeah, it's one of your promises that you say when you're a young people. Always be kind and helpful. And finally, always be grateful because you've got uh, incredible opportunities. And that's because of your leaders. And just to the leaders, I'd just like to say, first of all, thank you. Uh, it's you guys that really make all of this possible for these young people. You give up your time, your energy, your skills, your enthusiasm to bring those opportunities to them. So you have my respect, uh, my gratitude, and you have the gratitude of all these young scouts as well. Uh, so that's it really, say I'm around for a bit. I'm going to get around and meet as many of you as I can and sign as many scarves and woggles and shoes and earlobes and you name it this weekend. has been, <laughs> been crazy but fun. Um, but we'll see you. Lovely to be here. Keep scouting. Bye. <laughs>